I'm Brian Rees, I'm DNA Fit. Well, what normally we do is uh, we, we are there 45 minutes uh, before the training, then we prepare ourselves, taping, and uh, we have to do some, some warming up before ourselves to get the uh, muscles uh, ready before the training. Since we start uh, with all the group, we do some uh, warming up together, we run a little bit, we stretch a little bit, and then, uh, yeah, depends what uh, the trainer uh, plans for that uh, training. But uh, yeah, most of the times we do some ball position and then a specific uh, uh, job he has planned for, for the, that day. Well, I think uh, different uh, clubs, clubs have uh, different uh, ideas in, for training, you know. Sometimes it suits uh, yourself before than, than another. So, I think it's also about the culture of the countries or the way the teams train, that it's a, it's a little bit different. Well, I think uh, the volume of the training, uh, the times, the rest, uh, there are some different situations when we train in a different uh, teams, different countries. Sometimes, yes, you have um, more uh, rest from one exercise to another. And sometimes uh, it's uh, it's harder. Sometimes it's, uh, you have more volume during the, the exercises. So I think uh, yeah, you have a different uh, situations uh, in a different uh, trainings in a different uh, teams. So I think that's something that's something you 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 see when you are in, uh, in different teams. Well, after playing a few years already. Uh, uh, I found that uh, you have a different uh, recovery, that players have a different uh, time of recovery. Some players can recover the day after, some players need a couple of more days to recover after a uh, full game, you know. Uh, personally, I think, uh, yeah, after a couple of uh, days, I feel uh, better for training and the full uh, training. So I think uh, that depends uh, of uh, the different players. The players, I think they, they recover different. Well, my DNA results in terms of uh, my speed recovery, high speed recovery, speed recovery, it's a uh, it's high speed recovery. So I think uh, that was uh, that was uh, good to see because uh, I was feeling like that, you know, after one day, I think I can train uh, normal. I can do 100% uh, normal training. And uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's nice that, to see the fact that uh, the, the test uh, was the same as I normally feel after the game. Well, my DNA fit result uh, about the power and endurance, it was that uh, my power is 67.3% and uh, my endurance is 32.7%. Uh, so that means that uh, I'm better in power than uh, endurance. Yeah, I think the, result, the results of the DNA uh, power and endurance surprised me a little bit. I didn't, I didn't know that uh, uh, my power was better than my endurance, you know. And uh, it's nice when you, when you, when you get these results, and then, uh, then you, then you know how to, how to work. Yeah, it's, in, it's interesting to see in the, in the DNA results that uh, my recovery is also fast. So because also playing that position where I have to do a lot of short sprints, move a lot to get to get the ball to to, to lose my my marker. Uh, well, I have to recover fast after the next sprint, and next the next movement. So it's uh, it's interesting to see that in the results, my recovery is also is also fast. Well, you know now I am 28. I will turn 29 in August, and uh, yeah, now I get to know my body after years playing uh, football, uh, after doing a lot of exercises and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I think it will be really helpful to know this before. Let's say since when I was uh, starting my my football career, then I will know how to train proper, and that will help me a lot to to improve 
my level to help me to don't get even injuries because I will train good in a good way. So it's uh, interesting how in, it takes me too many years to, to know to know myself to know and when it could be easier if I would use the, the DNA test before. You know, the DNA uh, test also gives you the, uh, the risk uh, injuries you, you have. So, and that's something very important because then you know if you are a high risk injury, then uh, you know that you have to do something else or train better or do another, another exercises than normally you do. And uh, that's something you don't know before, before your career or during your career. But then now with the DNA test, you can see if you are a high risk, then you need to to do other exercises, to train better, to, pray, to train proper, then uh, you don't get injuries or help you to avoid uh, injuries, you know, so that's something very important in this kind of test. Well, you know, from my experience, uh, which I haven't get any injury uh, until I was 26, it was uh, it was uh, easy, but you know, sometimes you, you get injuries from nothing and then you don't know why, ha why it happened. And, uh, and with the DNA, DNA results, it uh, tells you what you can eat or what you cannot eat uh, a lot. But to have the, the right nutrition, I think is very important, in, especially if you are a sport uh, person, because uh, yeah, it, it, it tells you what you have to eat, or sometimes you think you can uh, eat something, and somebody else, somebody tells you you cannot eat that. But uh, you know, everybody is different. Every human body is different, and sometimes you can eat something that uh, somebody else cannot do it. And I'm Brian Riz. I'm DNA fit.